if dogs could talk. My wife just doesn't understand me. <laughs> Greg and Wayne, you're going to be sportscasters commentating on an everyday event. And Ryan and Colin will act out the event in slow motion. <laughs> Ryan and Colin, you are two plumbers making a house call. Two plumbers making a house call. It's incredible. What is happening right now is a, um, is Morton is pulling out a big socket wrench and he's pumping the pipe. He is pumping the pipe. He's loosening the pipe. Pumping it is. But it looks like Ryan's got something in his sleeve there. I can't quite oh. make it out from here. Can and you see what that oh, is? Oh, it's the plunger. Oh, it's the plunger. Look, look. I don't care who you are. Ooh. That has got to hurt a I, lot. Huh? Morton's got something in his hand. Oh, it is the old clamp nipple twist. <laughs> this is horrible, horrible. You know what? That was so gruesome. Let's see it again in the miracle of super slow motion. Let's see. Let's reverse back. There comes Morton with the nipple clamp. What's going on there, Juan? As you can see, he uses all of his torque to break the areola. He's twisting it. He's twisting it, and there. That is how you win. That I would not it. want to be in his shirt. Well, the action continues here as they go for the final plunge. The good thing, the good thing is his defense is he has no hair. Yeah, absolutely. There goes one. Oh! It's the trouser job. Oh! How <laughs> Surgery. We're doing surgery. Here it comes. That's what I heard first. We're going to do surgery. Surgery. So, uh, Laura Hall, whenever you're ready, let's do the surgery hoedown. Throughout my life, I used to laugh like this. Hee, hee, hee. Not so since I've had some major surgery. It really went horrible. It realized all my fears. Because of that surgery, I now pee out my ears. <laughs> And now, with the local report, here's Chester Buttocks. Forgive me, it's... I haven't had my last confessional since... Uh, never. Uh, I've been uh, very bad. I shave... animals... for my own entertainment. And then I make them do high-stepping Broadway musicals. <laughs> oh, what, what is my penance? Well, that's from the Too Much Information desk. <laughs> I, I just thought of another one. I have impure thoughts about the Teletubbies. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I need to take a bath. <laughs> but first, an international report from Bill. Bill Rutherford, Bill. Who's the widow newsman? Who's the widow newsman? Who is that smelly? Is that a smelly? He go poo woo woo woo. He go poo woo 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 woo. Ooh, that's a nasty thing. Ooh, that's a nasty thing. I want to put it. 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 Keep us up to date on that, Bill. <laughs> now, people who shouldn't rap. Oh, boy. There you go, an avalanche. That's good. Uh, it's about a avalanche and wrap away. Whatever you're ready. Hi there, guys. Hi there, dogs. I saw you while I was standing on the log. I saw the avalanche come down the pass. That's why I brought this magnifying glass. We we'll use the sun and the heat rays to make everything way, 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 way safer. Safer. It's safer. It'll be flood. Uh, tsunami. Let's make it a tsunami. <laughs> okay, uh, so you're going to wrap. The scene is about tsuna a tsunami. And uh, so go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey, yeah, there you guys. I see the wave. I even had time to shave. I know it's dangerous, it's quite debatable. Come with me, my pants are inflatable. I'm going up to light the way. I am that all of you I will save. Uh, so, 
Laura Hall, whenever you're ready, let's hear the television hoedown. The other day I went out and got a new TV. Just the thought of watching it filled me up with glee. But when I turned it on, you know, boy, I really lost it. Because the only thing it picked up was Veronica's closet. Yeah, I see some ID. <laughs> Don't I look old enough to drink? Don't you know the drinking age is 47 here? <laughs> Does it matter that I'm Canadian? You're Canadian? Can't you tell? Have you ever heard of a town called Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan? Isn't that right beside left noob? <laughs> Still here? <laughs> is it all right if I have a parrot? What's his name? Why do you ask? Are you aware that he just went on your shoulder? Don't you know that's good luck? Oh, is it? Don't you read books? You want to dance? Yeah. Come in, come in. Hello? Story from the Middle East. Benjamin Netanyahu today changed his name to Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> and on a different note, terrible bus accident today. Blanched? Today there was an accident. A busload of penguins. Penguins! They don't do any harm to anyone. And they only have sex once a year! <laughs> oh, the inhumanity! <laughs> What's that? Get a grip, all right? Okay. Colin? Everywhere! Chaos! Burning fire! No! No! That's okay. The Internal Revenue Service, who I love. Uh, they might be annoyed at it, but it's not me. I love the IRS. Let's hear the IRS hoedown. I live in Canada. There is no IRS. I still have to pay taxes, but I'm not that distressed. I owe 18000 but please understand. I'm not that worried, because that's my box American. <laughs> come up with as many examples as possible of the world's worst person to be president of the United States. From now on, everyone in North Dakota is named Tim. <laughs> Excuse me, while I drink the water, my vice president will finish my speech. You know, show over and I'll try to do It's Columbus Day, and we're selling off all the states, starting with Alaska. What is your best bid? We've gone crazy! Hi, Carl. Hi, Greg. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Colin, I like you as a friend. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Yeah, if, if Colin... Oh, woo! Woo! Have you met my Jewish mother? <laughs> I'm going to lock the door and not let anyone else in. Is that okay? I can put on some music. Ryan, Ryan, have you met my friend? He's a kleptomaniac. He's, a, he's pilfering. He wants at something very badly. He is... 
He is the most fun at a party of anyone I've ever invited. He's trying to steal something. He's, he wants my pocket. What does he like to do? He, well, geez. I know what he's making me want to do. Uh, Put his hands in my pocket. Yeah. I didn't know that's what you meant when you said you had to take a big pee. <laughs> hey, don't cry. You're not that good an actor. You know. Yeah. Hi. Nice to. Hi. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. I... <laughs> Number two. <laughs> yeah. I like to keep in shape, and I like to run around in the park. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do to, to keep in shape? Same thing. Throw me the ball. Throw the, throw the ball. Throw the ball. <laughs> Come up with as many examples of the world's worst dating service video. <laughs> Just use your imagination. Come on, I'm horny. Hi, Colin. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Close enough. Colin, can I get you a drink? Ah! 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 Hello. Hey, Greg, it's okay. Hello, Ryan. Hey, Greg, come on. Hey. <laughs> Colin, you, uh, Ryan, have you met Colin? He's a he's a trapeze artist. He's a high wire act in the circus. He's uh, he thinks he's in the circus. He's a very unsuccessful. <laughs> if I were a damsel in distress, how would you rescue me? <laughs> I'd have to think about it first. Uh... Hopefully, if your face was on fire, I'd beat it out. <laughs> uh, Woo me! Uh, all right, here, just once. Woo! 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 Vice President Al Gore was at a fundraiser today where he walked around in women's lingerie for charity purposes. People say he looked good in a pink slip. Look what I'm doing. Look how tough. Look how fast I'm talking. Look how fast. Look how fast I'm talking. Look how fast I'm talking. I can go. Look how fast I'm talking. Well, isn't that refreshing? I feel like the meat in an incompetent sandwich. And speaking of weather, let's find out from Al Nino what the weekend has in store. It looks like the weekend weather report is just going to be a gleam in someone's eye. That's all the time we have for the 6.30 News. Stay tuned tonight at 11. Thank you. Good night. Uh, if we were going to go out on a date, where might you take me to eat? Well, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> take you to eat. I'd probably take you to a restaurant. This is where the food is. <laughs> go to the restaurant. Go to the restaurant. We gotta go to the restaurant. Uh, if you were a carpenter, would you rather use a drill or a hammer? I love you. <laughs> You're great. You're just. <laughs> Well, 
of the world's worst dating service video. And that's just my hat. <laughs> and you don't need to worry, I'm a Trojan. <laughs> you said that so nicely. You know, if you're an X-Files fan, you're into conspiracies and hidden secrets, and sometimes those secrets just have to come out. Sometimes there's something unspoken between two people, maybe more on the side of one person than the other, but I've got to tell you something, Greg. Ever since I saw you in WPPL out there in Omaha saying the news, my heart just broke. My God, you're beautiful. Kiss me. Kiss me like you've never kissed a night before. Uh, have? Tune in. Tune in. Tune in tomorrow for Love Muffins, our morning program. I'll be there with Colin to explain everything. Good night, everyone. Hey! Well, it seems all the fish in the rivers are dying. Could this be an act of cod? Some people think it's because of the heavy rains lately. It was raining cats and dogs. I stepped into a poodle. It's like puddle, but spelt differently. Tonight on the 6 o'clock news, I guess we won't find out about that weekend weather, will we? Uh, I guess not. All right, tune in later for the local news at 10. Thank you so much. Colin. Look out! Colin! <laughs> Come on in. All right. Try the dip. Great. Try the Cheetos. <laughs> The of the okay. Look out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Todd, man! No. Be careful! No, not even close. You're not the guy from the ABC Sports <laughs> Agony Defeat thing, are you? That's close enough. He's a steer who keeps uh, running in the call. The scene to rap. Uh, in this game, Brad and Wayne are going to make up a scene together, and they'll be joined later by Colin and Ryan. However, they're going to be rapping. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll be accompanied by Mixmaster Laura Hall, funky Laura Hall there. And uh, now what I need from the audience is an everyday place where people might meet. A park. A park. Hey, square dance. park is fine. That's hey there, buddy. Hey there, slugger. Put up your hands. I'm a friendly mugger. Give me your money. Give me your dog. Cut down the tree, then give me a log. Give me the bushes and give me the trees. Give me the dogs with all the fleas. Give me the sky. Give me that thing. Woo, I'm crazy. Woo. <laughs> If I were Monica Lewinsky, where would you take me? Home. Well, uh, home, I like it. I got a Lewinsky here. Oh, I got a Lewinsky here. God, you sound sexy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, number two had no jaw. No, he was a guy in a dentist chair. That's a pretty good one, tourists. So, Laura, once you start the tourist or kids in a movie theater. Oh, no. The other day I was in a movie. The kids were all loud. They were making noise and throwing stuff. What an ugly crowd. I told them there's something and then they all cried. I ruined the movie. Told them Bambi's mother died. If you were going to fly me to a really romantic place, where would that place be? <laughs> and what, what would we... What do you think of romance at a time like this? This is your fault, you son of a... Question number two. You know, if you were a piece of women's clothing, what kind would you be in what color? I'd probably be a bra. A push up. Push! He 
she's been getting some bad press on this. Has she mentioned that he is the father of those children? That's Has a she lie. Been speaking with you don't know anything about it. Yeah. 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 You want yeah. peace? I'm not peace to you. Come on, let's see I can see the head, Mrs. Johnson. What I'm wondering is, if you were my professor, bachelor number two, yes. what would you teach me? What would I teach you? <laughs> I think I would teach... <laughs> I'm fine, I'm just feeling a wee bit under the weather. Okay. Well, I... If you were to take me out to the country, what would we do there? I don't know, I'd go all the way home. Okay. Commercials. That's a nice broad topic. Uh, so let's hear the commercial hoedown. I hate commercials. What a waste of time. Mm -hmm. They take up all the program. It really is a crime. They seem to waste all the time in my precious life. Thank God there are 60 seconds, then I can make love to my wife. <laughs> Here, have a canapé. Hi, Paul. <laughs> fiddle de dee, fiddle de dee. You need to be kissed once. <laughs> I don't know nothing about brother baby. <laughs> well, have you met my oh, friend? Oh, he oh, oh, thinks oh, he's oh, in the movie. Oh, he oh, thinks oh, he oh, is oh, the movie oh, Gone with the Wind. He's the guy in the movie Gone with the Wind. Yeah, I have another guest. Excuse me. Yes, hi. Thanksgiving dinner? Close. Burk, burk, burk. You're the headed chicken, aren't you? This just in, 10 out of 10 men need a second chance. <laughs> a second chance, that's all I need. I didn't know your shirt was flammable. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, God. Ripley, you need a breath and get a hold of yourself. Moving on now. Sports camps for a very long time. My mother had a really nice time. Why don't you just accept her? Speaking of a nice time, it's a nice time to go to our weather guy, Just Ripley. Just. Earthquake. Earthquake's the first one I heard. We'll take earthquake. Got it. Got earthquake. Thank you. <laughs> earthquake it is. Okay, uh, let's hear the earthquake rap. Stand back, everyone, only one chance. I am the Lord of the River Dance. I'll do something to stop the vibrations by doing the dance of the Celtic Nation. Thank you. What I need from the audience is a suggestion of a major life event. Blind date. Blind date we're going to use. Okay. Uh, Laura Hall, whenever you're ready. Let's hear the blind date hoedown. I had a blind date. It really was the pits. Nothing worked all night. I kept getting hit. She really was abusive. Man, oh man, oh man. But what else can you expect when your blind date is Roseanne? <laughs> Number two? Yeah. What's your favorite type of entertainment on a hot, dusty Saturday morning? Well, I usually like to go on a picnic. What the? Back to number two. Oh, they're here. They're here on me. <laughs> 
Back number two. I enjoy reading great, great works of literary content. What's your favorite book and why? Who gives a damn? You're going to come up with as many ways possible of the world's worst dating service video. The last time I four scored was 20 years ago. I will have you on a boat. I will have you with a goat. On a boat with a goat. I don't care. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Bern Knightley. Our top story today, a national study shows that balding men make the best lovers. You know, Colin, these CDs make great gifts as well. Who could you give one to? Why, if I had anyone in my life, it'd be them. <laughs> hey, why don't you buy one for me this Christmas? Sure, like I'm made of money. Lately, I find myself quite lonely. I normally take walks in the park. Where do you like to go when you need some? Solitude. Well, why don't we go on where we can find a better girl? Go on, I'm good, good, good. Oh, I'm so glad to know you, number two. So glad to know you. Could you back up? Back up? Back up? Back up? Back up? Ooh. I'll come back to you, number three. Number two? No. What kind of restaurant would you take me to? Number two is a circus geek who eats everything. Well, it says here the uh, well, he's a circus geek, but on the show he's playing the world's biggest glutton. Close enough. <laughs> NBA players. Gosh, my heart bleeds for him. Okay. Telfon has raised money for professional basketball players. Oh. Welcome back to our six of the professional basketball players telethon. That's right, we've been up for six straight hours! <laughs> I see two phones that are not busy right now. Let's get those phones ringing. Let's let a man eat a decent meal. <laughs> In a five-star restaurant, preferably a casino with lots of showgirls, because to entertain you, they need entertainment. People. Come on! Going bald. <laughs> Sounds great. Going bald. So, uh, Laura Hall, whenever you're ready, let's hear the going bald hoedown. I am losing my hair and it really is a pain. I find out every morning when I see the shower drain. But as you can see, it isn't quite for me. But at least I'm not quite as bald as Colin Mockery. <laughs> I have all my hair and I really am quite happy. I like putting stuff in my hair, it makes me look real snappy. I love to comb my hair, I never need a breather. I'm real happy, I'm not calling my free either. People always kid me cause I'm losing all my hair. I can't really help it that I'm follically impaired. It really is quite horrible, but my life is not true. I still get way more sex than either Brad or Drew. So let's hear the birth hoedown. <laughs> Ellen is my wife. The other day she gave birth. It was the most beautiful thing on this God's earth. When I saw her do it, I said, oh my God, dear Ellen, 
Looking from this angle looks like a straw passing a melon. <laughs> Bachelor number two. Yes. Okay, say I was to lose all my hair. <laughs> Would you prefer me in a wig or in a hat and why? Was that a hair crack? Because uh, it could make me mad. <laughs> and you wouldn't like me when I'm mad. <laughs> Big... <laughs> color why Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Chester Flatbottom. <laughs> After a three and a half month medical survey, experts have proven that Al Gore is actually alive. <laughs> and now with the stock reports, please welcome Laszlo Turkey Baster. Laszlo. Thank you, Chester. Stocks are up, 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 up. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> Stocks are up, up, up. Thank you, Laszlo. I will move quickly on to sports. That's all the time we have for the 6 o'clock news. Please tune in for the 6.05 news in just one minute. Good night. Hello? Where is she? Where is she? I don't know where she is, but you should do that outside. Look, I've had a bad day. They're starting off with like 26 million of them. Have I whopped it today? <laughs> Do you hear a wabbit? Kill a wabbit! Kill a wabbit! <laughs> well, that certainly was an interesting sports report, wasn't it, Colin? It was very, very interesting. <laughs> What? Um, Ryan's going to make sound effects for him that Colin has to respond to. And the scene is, you're the only employee in a busy drive through fast food place. So that's the uh, disaster movie is about a black hole. I'm an alien from the black hole. I come here to collect your soul. I'm going to take you back there. And then I'm just going to dance. Bachelor party. We got a bachelor party. So Laura Hall, Luna Taylor, let's hear the bachelor party hoedown. I went to a bachelor's party. I really had a ball. Boy, I consumed an awful lot of alcohol. In fact, it was really bad. In fact, it spelled my doom. Because when I awoke, I found I married the groom. And your scene is you're a soap opera set in a plastic surgeon's office. You can only speak in questions. Good luck. What kind of hospital is this? What kind do you want? <laughs> Can't I just get some real medical help? Do you need it? Can you give it to me? 
Where do I start? Do you want me? In what way? <laughs> Who did this to you? What does that mean? Would you like me to represent you? Why not? Is $200 million too much to get for that? Are you making some sort of insinuation? Does it show? Do you think you can be rude with a nose like that? Can I? <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's it. But penguins are really thinking. One day I'll get that Batman. <laughs> Unlikely ways to impress women. As of right now, I'm rash free. <laughs> I do murals with my own feces. <laughs> Dangerous things to do while driving. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing the laundry. That's the number two? Yes. Hello. Hello. What when I was a little girl growing up in Arkansas, Georgia, my grandma would always dispense little gems of wisdom like... For God's sake, Louise, I don't have time to listen to your ramblings. It's a matter of life and death. I can't let it happen again. I can't let it happen again. If you want to be here, that's fine, but just stay out of the way. Hello? Why did she leave me? Why? Clear! <laughs> Damn you! Damn you! Working out for you there. Be quiet. Hello, hello, Carl. <laughs> have you, <laughs> Wayne? Have you met Colin? He's the life cycle of a fish. He thinks. Oh, I always say that. How do fish finally end up? I'm just gonna get down How here. How do fish now. finally end up? I don't care now. <laughs> I like a man who is strong. Mm -hmm. I like a man who is smart. <laughs> but best of all, I like a man who knows how to work it on the dance floor. When I'm on the dance floor, I like the boogie. I'll make you forget all your troubles. Question number two, make it quick. You know, uh, I don't think I can compete against number three. <laughs> I can't beat this. Very well. Question number two is one of those old guys that you see hanging out at uh, strip clubs at 2 a.m. <laughs> It says here, Colin is the world's ugliest man looking for action, so I'll take that. <laughs> we have to come up as, with as many examples as we can of the world's worst what? Wayne? World's worst... N world's worst... Ah, not as easy as you think, <laughs> That's right. I earned my money, pal. That's all I can say. World's worst nightclub act. <laughs> the capital of Florida is the F. The capital of Washington is a W. Now please be very quiet as I get the lion to cough. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Things that would cause a Drew Carey spit take.
<laughs> I gotta get home to my wife. <laughs> Daddy, I'm a man, I'm a man. If you were my baby bachelor number two, what would your first words to me be? Oh, you, you wanna talk to me? <laughs> You know, it's just give, 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 isn't it? On my part, doesn't matter. Sleep, rain, snow, sunny, it doesn't matter. As long as you get what you want. Okay, thanks. If I were waiting to hear from you, yeah. and then I did, I'd yeah. be so happy, I'd put on something pink and slinky. Would you? Would you? Yeah. And keep putting them in the slots. Slot there, slot. Nobody's leaving. Nobody's leaving. Time for a special delivery. There's a microphone. And the scene is a day in the life of a busy caveman. <laughs> Down, Laura, whenever you're ready. Parties with drunks and naked girls are happening next door. There is an awful racket. It's shaking up my floor. There's in and out and things are happening. I know I shouldn't grouse, but boy, I hate living next to the White House. Couldn't see what I was eating. Better plug yeah. in a lamp. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I ruined the whole party. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? I'm not a car that you can try out. <laughs> no, not really. you're, no, you're, you're testing a car. No. Uh, you think I'm a, a vending machine? Yeah. Let's do uh, uh, hold out about the scary wife. Uh, take it away, Laura. Every night my wife scares the life out of me with her ugly hair and scars all you can see. Marrying someone that ugly really wasn't my plan. I accidentally married Dennis Rodman. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Colin Marines. And our top story today. Hollywood was saddened when Foghorn Leghorn died today at the age of 65. Memorial services will be held tomorrow, after which the deceased will be served with a nice orange sauce. <laughs> and now over to our co-anchor, Smiley Dick. <laughs> Frankenstein. Oh. Exorcist, because that's the scariest one. Exorcist! Exorcist! <laughs> so, it's called Scene to Rap. Wayne and Chip are going to start rapping uh, about The Exorcist, and then uh, these two hip rapper guys are going <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> Artificial Vanilla Icy. <laughs> You must desist. I'm Richard Simmons, the exercisist. And one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one.
Secret Double Lives of Who's Line cast members. Sorry, I'm Colin Mockery. I'm Brad Sherwood. <laughs> Hobbies of the stupid. <laughs> uh, strange chance overheard while jumping rope. Monkey, monkey, chew the butter. See my buttocks, they better, better. Batuta, batuta, monkey, monkey. Look, there's a gerbil. I'm going up and down. 60 minutes, where are you? Here's an expose for you. Give me the laugh. Give me the laugh. Give me the laugh. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little game for you called the hoedown. And with the help of Laura Hall on the piano, Laura Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> what I need for the audience is the type of authority figure that you fear. Probation officer. Let's do the probation officer hoedown. Take it away, Laura Hall. I have a guy a probation officer. He's not very tough. He doesn't have that many rules. My life is not that rough. Life is pretty easy if you know what I mean. Because my probation officer is Charlie Sheen. Hi. Can we turn off the lights? Number two, finish this rhyme. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'll have your soul. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'll finish it yourself. Who has time for poetry? And what a horrible crack table you had. <laughs> Bachelor number two, how are you doing over there? Not so good, thanks. <laughs> oh, I know how the wicked witch felt. game show concepts. <laughs> Wheel of mucus! Um, I'll take what's behind whore number one. <laughs> Confusing battle cries. <laughs> Give me liberty or a bran muffin! that won't get many responses. Slightly balding superhero. <laughs> yeah, slightly. <laughs> game show host. Game show host it is. Game show, the game show host, Hoedown, Laura Hall. I'm a game show host, my life's a game, you see. I fill it all with danger, I'm in jeopardy. It really is quite wonderful, I do it with all my might. I hang out with prostitutes because the price is right. <laughs> now, I notice you're not wearing sunglasses to help you with that incredible shine. <laughs> Yeah. Although many people are because of the incredible beauty of what is happening behind. <laughs> oh my God! I, I, oh, the beauty! The beauty! <laughs> What is behind you? I hope it's me with my clothes on. <laughs> yes, it is! Uh, because you did so good, you're all going to get to do a hoedown! Yeah. 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 We 
you keep that spirit alive, baby, because it's coming out. All I need from the audience is a suggestion of a reason you might wear a mask. Plastic surgery. Plastic surgery is the reason you might wear a mask. The plastic surgery didn't work, I must confess. My, my face is now one big bad mess. Here's a little hint if any of you go. Make sure your doctor isn't Dr. Picasso. <laughs> Bad things to do during an earthquake. A vasectomy doesn't hurt. <laughs> Rejected names for bras. The new wonder. <laughs> Pick up lines of the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna break a hip? Why don't you touch your toes and grab my breasts? Things you shouldn't do when confronted by a street gang. Do you know how many eggs go in a really good banana bread recipe? Men that women just don't seem to go for. Men that, men that women just don't seem to go for. Unlikely superhero name for Colin. Boy, Captain Hare. Captain Hare. <laughs> okay, Colin, Captain Hare. There's no more Rogaine. What are we gonna do? Oh no, there's no Rogaine anywhere in the world. I better send out a head beam. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm late. Thank goodness you're here, totally insane old man. <laughs> I use all my Rogaine on my chest. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Thank God you're here, Captain Trap Boy. Yeah, I'm here. Woo! Captain Hare? That's what I'm going to call you from now on. Ring? Oh. Hey, is Captain Hare there? You know, it would be in German. What? Hare, Hare! Hey, how are you? Hi, Then got some cheese to go with the ham? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything leaner? Oh. Uh, excuse me for a minute. Hello, come on in. <laughs> Excellent. A sub. <laughs> You must perform the ceremony. Listen, it's great having him. Whoever that is, never stop. I'll tell you. Now, I don't know who you are, but you just stay away. Got any fries? Okay, you're very hungry. You're a bit of a pig. And... You like Lettuce, eating people's tomatoes. 
applause. Who do you want us to sing the song about? Ryan? Colin? Wayne? So when I was singing a song about me, one line at a time on top of Laura Hall on the piano. Oh, glasses are kind of funny, and people think they're fake, especially these glasses. He is quite a rake. Oh, but he's a very good guy now, and he has telepathic powers, and he can fly through the airplane. <laughs> he's worn a thong for hours. Roses are red, violets are blue. What? You hear something? <laughs> I hear that black body is dead, going to come look out. I'm going to be around when that happens, because I'm going to be sure that someone's going to die. I don't want it to be me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, for that. Well, it didn't rhyme, but it moved me. <laughs> Well, I'd probably take it. <laughs> Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Get down there! Get over here! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Get over there! Don't even think about moving! So if you took me to an amusement park, which I ride? Mean, the park is gonna judge. <laughs> Thomas This just in, virginity abolished in Southern California. That's been the news. Stay tuned for when desserts attack. So what they're going to do is they're going to do an Irish drinking song for you, one line at a time. So let's hear the Voted for Us Perot Irish drinking song. The party was a strange one. I voted anyway. I went and I cast my ballot. I laughed along the way. He lost by a landslide. But I still scored him so. I wonder what he's doing now. I heard he lives alone. Oh, He runs again someday. Maybe in a couple years. I hope when he runs this time, he gets better ears. Again, he'll have my vote there. You will see. Because there is no one else. Ha, 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 If you would seduce me with food, what would you use and how? I did it. <laughs> Thief! All right, I... Oh, no! Oh! Hang on, I'll save you! Slept with an ugly woman. 
Let's do the Slump of the Ugly Woman Irish drinking song. I tried to forget it. I tried to drink a lot because she was so ugly. She needed a nice spot. Then the day would come again that I'd meet her. I was so scared. It looked like someone had beat her. The famous movie lines included product plugs. Rosebud, the last word in sleds. Uh, what cows are thinking when being milked. First time this guy's seen a bull. Unusual uses for your cat.